you guys want to hear me eating, good morning. Today is the 1st of February of 2016. And it's Caitlin again doing a, another fitness, health, and wellness, and daily life look. I have some frosted flakes with almond milk, vanilla almond milk. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. And only 310 calories for a one and a half for one and a half cups of frosted flakes and a cup of almond milk, or at least the vanilla almond milk I like. All right, I'm gonna go on my zombies run after this, the um, Catch to 5K program. And I will catch up to you guys when I finish that day one of the Tomorrow I should be going for another walk. Today is going to be a good day. Have a nice day, everybody. So I finished the first couch to 5K run. Um, I feel really good about it. I'm excited. Um, I took the older dog with me. Her name's Midnight, and she seemed to really enjoy it. She's, we got her when I was in when we first moved to TurnQuest, my grandfather had passed away. I was eight. I guess she's 12 years old now. Um, she's a very good dog, except she gets, she can get really pissed off. Well, she's an older dog, so it's understandable. She has cataracts, and she's a sweet dog. I love that dog. She's a lot more controlled than our Akita. Our Akita, I need to get a weighted harness for. I'm a little iffy on that because she has skin problems. We're not exactly sure what those problems are. But she's starting to grow her coat back after something happened. And she lost most of her undercoat. She's starting to grow it back, thankfully. I mean, it's February. Hopefully, it'll be nice and warm for spring and... Hopefully not too warm for summer and all that. Um, I hope you all are having a wonderful day so far. I am actually working on my D&D campaign and have decided that the first campaign that I was writing was a little too adventurous. My boyfriend helped me figure that one out. Too much was going into it for level one characters and stuff like that. So I was like, Hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to not. I think I'm going to save this for a later date. Make it a, like, level 7 campaign instead. So maybe it'll be the second, or maybe it'll be the third. But the first campaign is going to be giving these the characters that my friends and my friends are going to play a chance to get noticed by the different gods that are in my world. Like, there are nine gods in this pantheon that have teams that go into the Crimson Sun games. There's the Great Forest Spirit, the Great Darkness, Talon the Valorful, Papyrus, the Great Whale, Reyes, the Morning Sun, Celestia, the Arcanus, Varn, the Prosperous, Connell, and dark. I have a bad feeling about if they get dark as the god that they're going to be representing in the games. It's not going to be fun for them. Because if they do get picked by dark. I have to roll for this. If they do get picked by dark. And sorry about the geek speak. They will be set on a totally different adventure. They will be set into trying to figure out. What the hell's wrong with the world in the games? Because the only reason Dark ever gets in the games, and I hope none of you ever play this campaign, because this is a huge spoiler. Um, if Dark only ever gets in the games when balance is out of whack. Dark is a mirror dragon. He is actually a true neutral god. He values the middle road, balance, purity, beauty, and precious gems. 
He is a god that is seldom seen in the games and mostly absent from life unless balance is brought into chaos. He is depicted as a mirror dragon, and I will be figuring out the stats for all the gods later on. He is gigantic. He and the Great Darkness are very, very gigantic. I would feel better if they got Connell. He is for the orange team. He values strength, power, fame, fortune, hunting, and foul play. His bite is said to either turn the bitten into a werewolf filled with the desire to hunt for ages, or to burn the veins of those strong, not strong enough to withstand the gift. A wolf made of pure flame. Now, for Dark, because I know none of my friends are going to end up watching these videos, I can explain this part. Each of the gods gives different bonuses to different checks. Dark gives bonuses to diplomacy, charisma checks, and other checks regarding balances with lawful, chaotic, good, and evil. Connell, on the other hand, adds bonuses to strength, fighting checks, and hunting checks. Varen, the prosperous purple team, values wealth, prosperity, bartering, punishes those who do wrong to travelers. He is a gold man, a skin man, lounging, neutral good. He gives bonuses to loot rolls. Selesnia gives bonuses to charisma and... Nope, I'm changing that. She gives bonuses to sneak and hide, well, sneak, and shit. She gives bonuses to sneak and pickpocket, and other things regarding um, dexterity. Talon gives bonuses regarding the crafting. The Great Forest Spirit gives bonuses to survival and knowledge nature checks, checks that revolve around those kinds of things. Great Darkness gives bonuses to spot and hide checks. He's lawful evil. I decided to do my lawful good gods first. Then I decided my chaotic gods. And then I did my neutrals last. And I was trying to make sure that there were no overlaps. But there's one and I have to fix it. But anyway, today so far is going to be really wonderful. Um, for dinner, I'm going to be having a nine-ounce steak. That is so much food. But I did work out today. I think I deserve it. Um, you guys are probably wondering what the spark quote of the day is. I should do that now. Um... I will have to find this first. Alright. I will catch you guys after I find my spark quote of the day. So I found it. Here's the spark quote of the day. If it is, if it is to be, it is up to me. And our lovely people at Spark People have plot it on themselves to interpret it for us. You can always sit around and wait for somebody else to do it, right? Wrong. Sometimes it's only through your own initiative that things will get done. Maybe others will help you, maybe they won't. But if you really care about a certain project, don't hesitate to act yourself. Rely on yourself to be productive. Most of the time, a quick fix won't do the trick. It might take a lot of effort over a long period of time. Hopefully, though, the, you'll find the end result to be worth it. Go out and make magic happen. Well, today, people, I made magic happen. I went on my first leg of my Couch to 5K run. Um, it was good. I took Midnight with me. It was wonderful. She's actually learning to walk beside me. She's doing really well. She may be 12 years old, but she's still a good dog. Um, and I've, I fell off the bandwagon a little bit last night. I did not, did not, did not eat healthy last night. 
I had McDonald's. I was bad. I had McDonald's. Oops. But that's okay. It's okay to fall off every once in a while. I mean, I've been doing this for 19 days. I still tracked it. It was still in my calorie range. So, well, I did have soda, though, which is bad. But, 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 I did track everything, and I've been doing it for 19 days. I have a spark street of 19 days. Woo! Which is cool. And going to my challenges, I've actually been keeping up with my challenges. Woo! Challenges! I've been doing really well with my challenges. I've been keeping myself, I've been trying to keep myself healthy. I've been sticking to working my routine. I mean, I had a few lazy days, but it's okay to have a few lazy days, especially like if you're in a ton of pain from doing your workout. Um, I've actually been in a little bit of pain recently. My left front of the bottom part of my leg has started to be a little painful. So it doesn't feel good. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. But that's okay. I'm just trying to rest it and I still did my thing today and hopefully my thighs won't hurt like hell like the last time I decided to test myself <sighs> that was a bad decision I still did it but it fucking hurt I'm so, eh, excuse my mouth I am I am not 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 a <laughs> I am I have a body mouth yep I have a potty mouth. I'm bad. I'm working on it. Like when I'm over at my boyfriend's house, I'm a lot more careful about what I say. Yeah. So, well, right now I'm working on my campaign. Decided with Quincel. The games were a little bit too adventurous for my first campaign. And it would be better if they were le if they were level seven before we did this campaign. So we're gonna make this around my second or third campaign. So it gives time for these characters to be seen and heard, and the gods to want them to be in their teams. So it's gonna be fun. I just feel bad for them if they get the true neutral god. Or they're kind of fucked if they get the true neutral god. They get next to nothing. They're going on a very hard mission if they end up getting the true neutral god. Oh, well. Well, you guys, I will probably pick this back up after, while I'm cooking dinner for myself, my sister, and my mom. I'm making steak, and I'm having a nine-ounce steak, and oh my god, is my stomach going to be full? But that's okay. It is protein, and I am cooking it very nicely. Mine is, um, mine and my mother's are going to be marinated in Jack Daniel's marinade. I'm not a big fan of marinating steaks. I'd rather them not be marinated, and me actually cook them, and salt, pepper, the good stuff, and grill them, but I have to fry them. I don't want to, but I have to. Because it's too cold outside to grow. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will catch you later with another update. Catch you then. Guys, I'm sorry I didn't close up the vlog yesterday. I'm going to close it now and say I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. The only reason I didn't close the vlog yesterday is because I'm probably going to have to go to the doctor sometime soon because I'm having a health issue. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days. Have a nice night, or whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this.